One of the most important concepts in computer programming is the idea of conditional statements, otherwise known as if statements. Let me give you an example just from real life. I might say something like this. If you are a male human being, then use the men's room. Else if you're a female human being, then use the ladies' room. Else go to the bathroom wherever you want. Now, if we look at that statement, the first part begins with an if statement, and it then describes a very specific condition. You are a male human being. Then, after the then, it tells you what you're supposed to do. That is followed by an else if statement with another very specific condition. You are a female human being. Then, it is followed also by what you're supposed to do if that condition is true. Finally, we have the word else by itself. Now that implies that neither of the stated conditions are true. So you're neither a male human being nor are you a female human being. What does that mean? Well, you might be a goldfish or a bear or a tetsy fly. In any event, if you are not either a male human being or a female human being, you are free to go to the bathroom wherever you damn well please. For those of you of an especially inquisitive nature, you might think what he just said isn't even really true. What if you're a baby? You don't have to go to the men's room. You can go in your diaper. And in fact, you will go in your diaper repeatedly during the day. Well, that shows the difference between logical truth and actual truth. Logic, basically, you're making a premise and then you're saying, if that premise occurs, then what's supposed to happen? So don't be too concerned if sometimes something that is logical is also disordered. If it weren't for that, We'd have no paranoid schizophrenics in the world, and we'd have a much, much poorer planet. Now let's get into Flash and see how this works in actual computer programming. So we're starting a new Flash Action Script 3.0 file, and we're going to create a script on frame one. Here's what we start writing. We're going to write a function, and this is just kind of a goofy example, but I'm going to call my function Drink Advice. It takes one parameter, namely age. So we have the word function, then the name that we think up for our function name, which is drink advice, parentheses, and then any parameters. And again, we just have the one, and it is age. We follow that with a open curly bracket. And now we're going to start our if statement. We have the word if, and then inside of parentheses, we have a specific condition. Our specific condition is age is less than 21. After our condition, which again is inside of parentheses, we have an open curly bracket for the if statement. And the next line, we say what happens if that condition is true. So if age is less than 21, our function will return, don't drink alcohol. Now, if we want to add any other specific conditions, we can do so using else if statements. So the next line, line four, we close the if statement with a closing curly brace, and then we open up an else if statement. In parentheses, we have another condition, which is age is greater than or equal to 21, and then we have two ampersands, which in Flash Action Script 3.0 means and, age is less than 65. Now that's a little bit complicated. Actually what we're doing there is using an AND statement to link two conditions. So basically we're saying that if the age is between 21 and 65, in programming you can do AND statements and OR statements. AND is two ampersands, OR is two vertical lines which you can type by holding the shift key and then hitting the backspace. That gives you a vertical line. In any event we have else if age is greater than or equal to 21 and age is less than 65 open the else if statement with the curly brace, and we have a return of, if you must drink alcohol, keep it to no more than two a day. The next line, line six, we close the else if statement, and now we have the word else. Now this implies any other possibility. So the specific possibilities that we have listed are less than 21, 
or between 21 and 65. So what would else refer to? Well, it's you're 65 and older. So what happens in that event is we're going to return. You should quit drinking alcohol one a day maximum if you don't quit. Now let's create a variable. If you look line 11, it says there your drinking advice equals, and we're going to do a function call. Our functions drink advice. And then we're going to supply an actual age number, a value for age. So we have drink advice print the C16. We call the flash trace function and we say trace your drinking advice. And once we test our movie, the output window will say don't drink alcohol. As you notice, 16 is less than 21, so it does what it's supposed to do. It returns don't drink alcohol. Here's another variation on that. We're going to change the value of age from 16 to 21. When we test our movie, we get a result in the output window of if you must drink alcohol, keep it to no more than two a day. Now, if we add drink advice of any number from 21 up to 64 or 64.999, that's what we're going to get. We're going to try one more time, and this time we're going to supply the value of 71 for age, and then when we trace your drinking advice, we get the expected outcome, which is you should quit drinking alcohol one a day maximum if you don't quit. So here we have a pretty good example of a simple if statement with an if, an else if, and an else. And we threw in the and as a freebie.